So today we are going to discuss a part two of the fall of Troy and in part one what we have read like the great fight to the great war between Greek and the Trojans and uh, why this war happened uh, you know because uh, Prince of Troy had persuaded Helen who was a wife of Greek King Menelaus and this war fought between Greek and the Troy for almost 10 years now what after that now Troy was taken not by the force but by a trick you must be knowing that in part one that we have already covered that many great soldiers were killed but it was the cunning Odysseus who thought of a plan to obtain the victory it was the cunning cunning means clever right so it was the cunning Odyssey Odyssey was very clever or thought of a plan to obtain the victory. Now, Odyssey from Greek, he was clever and he just prepared a plan to for a victory. Now, let us build a great wooden horse. He said, he offered to build a great wooden horse. And he said, big enough to hold men inside it and let some of our best fighters hide inside the horse. Then let us burn our tents and pretend to sail away now ships but instead of sailing away we will return in the night and when the trojans are asleep we will attack the city and burn and kill the greek leaders decided to follow the advice of wise odysseus so a great horse of wood was made of by a skillful engineer and the greatest heroes menelaus odysseus himself and other entered inside the horse the last man to go in being the architect himself who knew the secret of opening and shutting the entrance. And that evening, Greek burned their tents and sailed away in their ships, but they did not go far. Now, it was a very a clever idea from the Odyssey to build a wooden horse so that the great soldiers can go inside the horse and hide themselves. And after that, they plan that they will burn their tents so that the Trojans will think that, okay, we have moved away from this place. Now, no more fight between Greek and the Trojans. But this was an idea only. That's it. Now, only one man left was left behind to persuade the Trojans to drag the horse into the city. And next day, the Trojans woke up, expecting to go out and fight as they had done for the past 10 years. What delight and surprise they felt at the sight they saw on the seashore outside the walls. It seemed that long siege was over at last. The tents had been burned. The shore were deserted. The Greek ships had all gone. It is peace at last. They cried and opened wide the, their gates and came out in large numbers on the plain glad to be free again and to go where they pleased. When they saw the sands, the huge wooden horse, they gathered round it in astonishment, for it was indeed a wonderful piece of work, as they were wondering how the horse has been built and why it has been left behind. They found a Greek with his hands tied together lying under it. So what happened next day? Next day, the Trojans, uh, you know, next day again, they prepare themselves for the fight. But when they came out, so they came to know that, okay, no more Greek soldiers. So they were feeling very happy, that, like no more war. Suddenly, they noticed a great wooden horse, a huge wooden, ho wooden horse. So, uh, and a soldier also, whose hand tied together and he was lying under it. When the Trojans dragged him out, the man pretended to be very frightened of them. When he was commanded to tell them why the Greeks had gone and why they had left this horse behind, he pretended to tremble very much and refused to speak. When at last they threatened to kill him, he spoke and told him, told this false tale. The Greeks are tired of this long war and have sailed away in their ships. And he said, and he said, but they are afra afraid of long voyage home too. So they have made this horse and left it as an offering to the God of the sea. They wanted also to kill me and offer me as a sacrifice to the sea God. But I escaped 
and height from them. But why did the Greeks make such a huge horse? Some of the Trojans asked. Now, some of the Trojans, out of excitement, they asked questions from that person that why they built this such a large wooden horse. And the cunning Greek made this reply. If they had made a smaller offering, you might have taken it into a city. Then the luck would have given, gone to the Trojans, not to the Greeks. And that is why they made it too big to go inside their, your gates. The Trojans were delighted to hear this. Now, the cunning Greek made an excuse that they just don't want to offer a, um, this uh, small gift so that you can easily take their luck in, inside the, your city. So that is why they built their large horse. The Greeks had gone and they said, and they said, uh, the walls are no longer necessary. Let us make a hole in the wall and drag the house, horse in. Their wise priest warned them not to do so. It may be a trick that will ruin us. So yeah, now hear the entry of the wise priest who has given them warning that it could be a trick. And that could destroy everything. He said, you will bring disaster on the city if you break down the walls. But if they, they were so excited that they paid no attention to his words. And the soldiers were excited about this large, huge uh, wooden horse. They broke down part of the strong walls in order to drag the house in. Now, all that day, the Trojans feasted and drank and celebrated and had the celebrations. Celebrations, they went to sleep and slept soundly. But that day of rejoicing was soon followed by a night of terror and death. The Greek ships have not sailed far. As soon as they were hidden by an island, they had lowered their sails and dropped an anchor and waited for the night. And in the darkness, the fleet sailed back and the leader, leading ship which was Agamemnon's bow, a red light high on the mast. Mast means pole. The Greek who was watching for the return of the fleet crept to the wooden horse and gave the signal. The side of the horse opened. The Greeks climbed out and opened the gates. The whole Greek army entered the sleeping city. Immediately, the Greeks set fire to the house, two houses and towers and play palaces and began to burn and kill. So they started burning the houses, palaces and killing people. Now Troy was filled with the sight of leaping flames and sound of shouting and the noise of weapons and the cries of weeping women. The sleeping Trojans sprang out of their beds, but they were taken by surprise. The enemies were right inside their walls, and many of the Trojans were killed before they could put on their armor and the seize their weapons. You know, the meaning of armor, armor means, you know, the protective uh, cover that we are, uh, we are always uh, wearing to protect our body from the um, weapons. So a bright light lit up the night sky as palaces and houses. Temples and towers went up in flames. The Trojans fought as well as they could, but it was all in vain. Old King Priam was killed with his or with all his brave sons. Hector's wife and his old mother and sisters were carried off as slaves by the conquerors. So who were the conquerors? Greek was the conqueror. Leaping means to a great height. And their fate was in contrast to Helen's when King Menelaus rushed to the city, looking for her and found her in her palace. She hung her head in shame and sorrow as she faced her former husband. Her voice was choked with emotions and she could not speak, but Menelaus forgave her and she went back with him. For it, for it was only Aphrodite who had turned her heart away from her, away from her home and her husband and her child. When morning came, nothing was left of the proud, rich city that had resisted attack for the ten years. Aphrodite is the Greek name of the goddess of love. Now see, in the start part one only, we have read that how great that 
wall was the wall of Troy. And now that rich city completely destroyed. That's the end of this uh, great war, the fall of Troy, the story fall of Troy. And you know what we have learned in this story that we have learned that you know all the things, all the bad deeds, all the bad deeds leads to the destroy part. Destroy only. That's it. It will not help you in achieving something. Right? So that is what Prince of Troy also. All the soldiers, all the soldiers killed because of the Helen. All the soldiers killed, all the great soldiers killed. Even that beautiful city Troy also destroyed. And that city Troy was very rich, rich in agriculture, rich in trade, rich in so many things, but completely destroyed because of one decision. So that's the end of the fall of Troy. Thank you so much.